The C-Class is Mercedes' biggest selling model around the world, and after seven years, the German brand has now released a new design. We've come to southern France to see what it's like. The new C-Class arrives in Australia mid-year with an all-new look and an extensive list of changes and tech updates. Features which are sure to lend it an edge in the sales race against BMW's 3 Series and Audi's A4. Four different models will be offered initially in Australia, including the C250 petrol that we spent most time in. The new C-Class in many ways heralds a new era for the Mercedes brand. This is the first new model in seven years and there are big expectations hinged on the sales performance of this car. The model we're driving is the C250. It definitely raises the bar in overall refinement and driving qualities. Historically the best selling model locally, the C250 comes fitted with a 2 litre petrol engine producing 155 kilowatts and 350 newton metres. It will come standard mated to a 7-speed automatic transmission. The C-Class range will be offered in two suspension settings, a standard steel configuration or an optional airmatic setup. The latter provides five different driving settings from efficiency right through to Sport Plus. There's also a self-leveling feature for improved high-speed stability and added towing ability. As in most C-Class as well, this one is really refined and comfortable at normal driving, but as you see, when you do put the boot in, there's quite a strong dose of sportiness as well. The ride and handling of these cars over in Europe has been really good. We'll reserve full judgement though until we see how they handle Australian roads. The ride overall on the air suspension is really accommodating and cosseting over bumps. We did find it a little bit floaty at higher speeds, but you really have to be concentrating to try and detect it. By comparison, the steel suspension only offers one mode, but it's really well calibrated to a mix of sporty and comfort characteristics. Extensive efforts have been made towards making this car a lot quieter than the predecessor and you notice that straight away, both in terms of how hushed the road noise is but also the wind noise. Under the skin of the C-Class range, a claimed 100 kilograms has been shed thanks to a partially aluminium construction, which has helped to improve efficiency on some models by as much as 20%. The car's overall wheelbase has been extended 80 millimetres with a lower centre of gravity and a more rigid body for improved ride and handling dynamics. The new C-Class also scores a more dynamic appearance, with strong hints to the larger S-Class as well as a new interior. There are new tech gadgets including a climate control system operated via the GPS that recognises congested areas and switches off automatically. The C-Class also gets the latest in safety technology including an automatic braking function and a larger airbag count. There's the usual suite of driver functions including front and rear parking sensors and a 360 degree camera. Those updates paired with notable improvements to refinement and efficiency help make the upcoming C-Class the best one yet. Pricing is yet to be confirmed but the C-Class range is expected to start at about $60,000 when it lands mid-year. <laughs>